All right, everybody, we're back live here. The next game up, Estonia versus Germany. At least that's in team name only. Uh, Estonia will be in white, and Germany will be in blue for this one. 18-minute halves. I am Marcus Shockley with Netcast Sports. You're watching the 2016 Immaculate Training Pro Exposure Camp here from Charlotte, North Carolina. And we are about to tip off, and we're underway. So if you've been watching our other games today, you already know something about the clock, but uh, I'll get you up to speed quickly. Mostly a running clock with some stoppages in play. Big three ball on the outside right away. And that puts Blue up by three early. There, uh, for out of bounds and things like that, the clock does not stop. For fouls, shooting fouls, the clock has been stopped during the day. And you see Julius Brooks, number 39, a guy that uh, we've enjoyed watching over the years. Six foot nine forward, but uh, stoppages of play, shooting shooting fouls will stop the clock. Uh, timeouts will stop the clock, but uh, out of bounds like this one will not stop the clock. So the clock will continue to run. And uh, as always, the uh, scoreboard that you see on the screen is is not official, but we are doing our best to basically we just follow the lead of the uh, of the clock in the gym and the scoreboard in the gym and we go from there and I'll do my best to get you guys up to speed on the rosters as we proceed going forward number 75 right now Nicholas Crawford with the ball and he gets it over to number 44 Michael Moore and a deep outside shot no good for Jansen Carter coming up with a rebound was Christian Little and there's gonna be a foul And the clock does not stop, so it looks like we're going to be doing an inbounds, although players seem a little bit unsure. And now they're stopping the clock. So I think, I think it's safe to say that uh, we and the clock operator here are all trying to pay attention to what the referee ultimately decides. Shot no good. Now, still shooting one for two, which means that a two-shot foul will still be, if he hit that free throw, it would have counted for two points. White looking to get on the board here. Nicholas Crawford running the point once again. Number 75. It's it over to Timothy Haggy. And now down to Michael Moore. Moore on the outside. That shot is good. And that's going to be a three ball. And now White has a three ball of their own. So we're all knotted up at early in this one. With about 16 minutes left to play in the first half. It's Marcus McDaniel. He had a... He's a good outside shooter. He showed that earlier today. He gives it up to Tommy Moss, number 102. Moss driving to his left. He's going to kick it out to Little. And here's McDaniel. Shot no good. And that ball's going to be going out over the baseline, but staying with Blue, also known as Germany today. Since there's a lot of international scouts in the building, this is an international pro basketball exposure showcase. That's why the teams have country names. Estonia taking on Germany here. And now we're, uh, we got the turnover. So low scoring affair early here. I think the team's still getting warmed up in this one. Once again, Nicholas Crawford running the point. It's picked up. As Michael, I mean, I'm sorry, as Marcus McDaniel jumped out to check him on the dribble. Carter shot, no good. Rebounded. Blue going the other way now. Cornell Holmes kicks it out to Tommy Moss. Now Moss driving. He likes to go right and into his left. Does that pretty effectively, but that time gets in trouble. Kicks it outside. Oh, and he's got to chase that down in the backcourt. And they're saying it's tipped, so it's not going to be over and back. Moss looking for uh, some openings here in the defense. Nice little fake and drops it. Mike, Marcus McDaniel, he's shown a good shooting touch today. Some good patience, gets himself open. Drops it in. Here's Brooks. Feed inside to the wide open. Jansen Carter. But unable to convert there. Nice little mid-range jumper. That's good. Blue 
quickly building a, a little bit of a lead here, seven to three. And that's going to stay with White. Ball knocked out of the out of bounds. As Nicholas Crawford found himself under the basket, ball slapped away. 17 to three here. 13:26 left to play in the first half. Deep outside shot, no good by Jansen Carter. Marcus McDaniel, that shot too strong. Good closeout by the defense. Oh, under the basket, and that's going to be a foul. And that's almost certainly going to be a shooting foul. And stop the clock, and uh, that does look like what we're going to see. And that's going to send Jansen Carter to the line, the six foot four guard, Jansen Carter. Rattles that one in. And that's a help for White because that, that one for two situation cuts that lead back down to two and sort of stops the drought for them. They haven't had a field goal in a while. We've got a foul on the outside. That foul is going to be called on Nicholas Crawford. Christian Little to inbound gets it inside to Marcus McDaniel. McDaniel being checked heavily by Corey Rayleigh Ross. Drive, defense closes. Here's Christian Little on the outside. Shot no good. Rebound knocked around. Ultimately, ends up in the hands of Marcus McDaniel now to the outside. No good. This Cornell Holmes is looking to capitalize. We see Jacob Lawson on the inside. There is a foul. That's going to be a shooting foul, I think. Yes. Jace, Jacob Lawson, number 80, had a, a pretty nice game earlier today. I'd like to see them work the ball into him again. He's got some. He's got good active feet inside. He's got good size. He can kind of mix it up in there. So we'll see what they do. McDaniel's shot, no good. So we're stuck at a two-point lead here for Blue. Full court look ahead pass. Little dump off. Wrap around. No good. Nice idea, but not able to execute as it bounced off the hands of Cornell Holmes. It's Corey Rayleigh Ross bringing the ball up now. Tried to feed it inside, slapped away, but ultimately corralled by Brooks. And he throws it cross court over to Timothy Haggy inside battle and Jansen Carter drawing the foul once again and I think he's going back to the line so all the points half of the points roughly after this shot if Jansen Carter hits this is going to be the bulk of the points and he does so he ties the game up which is good for white but uh, I would have to point out that four of their seven points have come from the free throw line and with the one for two situation, it basically means two free throws account for 60% of their offense right now. So they've got to figure out how to score from the floor. Here's Corey Rayleigh Ross in traffic, and he's going to draw the foul again, or he's going to draw the foul. Now, clock continues to run, so. Well, I guess, I guess we just have to wait and see. We, we wait until the referees tell us <laughs> that it's a shooting foul. Uh, both us and uh, us on the broadcast and the uh, in score in, in uh, Jim scorekeeper. So White has used that free throw very effectively, and now they've taken a two-point lead. And we've got a timeout on the floor. Now you're watching the 2016 Immaculate Training Pro Exposure Camp, International Pro Exposure Camp here from Hickory Ridge High School in Charlotte, North Carolina, technically just north of Charlotte, the the main uh, metro Charlotte area, and just a little bit, I guess, south east of uh, University of North Carolina at Charlotte. Uh, nice facility, great school here, and beautiful day here in North Carolina, and you're watching this on Netcast Sports. You can watch this on demand at netcastsports.com. Once again, I am Marcus Shockley. You can follow us on Twitter at Netcast Sports. Very easy. You can keep up with all the broadcasts that are coming up and all the on-demand replays. 
all the great information that we have out there for you guys any delays anything like that you can see it on netcast sports so definitely check out netcastsports.com for your uh, basketball fix in the summer and we've got some football coming up at the end of july we've got some pro-am basketball coming up in july we've got some really good stuff lined up some stuff we can't even announce yet but it's uh, it's good great stuff coming up for the summer and uh, we're already booking stuff for the fall so that's great too marcus mcdaniel now in the open floor looking to get off a shot ball loses the dribble unfortunately for him but now going the other way white it's corey rayleigh ross in the open floor kick out to the outside that's a deep three ball no good and we're going the other way so neither team finding the, the basket right now from the floor big rebound there for Julius Brooks Timothy Haggy now he's calling for a pick Brooks slides up but then backs off it looks like they don't need it Brooks is a very athletic power forward so we'll see what he can do if he can get loose on the inside there big six foot nine power forward very athletic Christian little outside no good neither team finding the bucket a lid on that rim right now for both teams and for white they have one field goal so far in this one so they've got to get something working here from the floor inside to Brooks good idea but uh, broken up Lawson shot no good just uh, nothing They're just basically struggling both teams struggling offensively right now so who's going to be able to break into this and crack that scoring conundrum and Nicholas Crawford comes back into the game Daniel takes a bump no foul puts it up blocked on the inside but Daniel desperate to get a shot up still can't get that one actually does it, dri it dribbles in so finally we've got some points in the hands of Marcus McDaniel there and now back the other way so that kind of cracks it open now field goals are fast and furious couple of quick back-to-back -back buckets after a long stretch of neither team being able to find that bottom of the net deep out shot kind of a bailout shot there I don't think that's a the best opportunity there for them now going the other way oh nice finish on the inside by Michael Moore the no look over the back shot and now White has things going a little bit leading 13 to 9 feet inside that's going to be a foul You're going to inbound under the basket. And now we're going the other way. White gets that turnover. Nicholas Crawford to inbound. Still a low scoring affair so far, but both teams have opened up just a little bit. Brooks now hands off to Corey Rayleigh Ross that runner no good nice pass to the inside here's Brooks turning spinning over the top that one's short and once again Marcus McDaniel showing that deep shooting touch and it couldn't have come at a better time for blue now we've got a stoppage Timothy Haggy to the line
Corey Rayleigh Ross with a nice little uh, crossover there. Gets to the inside and scores. Puts his team back up by three with 6.09 left to play here in the first. And uh, halftime, they got about two minute halves. So not a whole lot of time to wait. Deep outside shot, no good. Put back is good though. So now the teams are sort of getting into their groove offensively. Rayleigh Ross working off their pick from Brooks, but a nice recovery on defense there. Now Brooks is going to keep it. Wanted to hand it off. Pulls away. Ball off the back of the rim. Rebound. Put up. Ball lost. And it goes over the baseline. It's going to stay with White. Michael Moore comes back onto the lineup, and Brooks is going to go to the bench and take it a rest. Tough battle for the rebound on the inside there. And here's Marcus McDaniel. He's been the number one offensive threat so far for Germany. Also known as Team Blue here. The road team. The road team on a neutral court. Tough run out. That's going to be a blocking foul. They're going to give him three points, I believe, which is going to be the bucket in the end one. Oh, I guess not. They're going to... They are, yes. Okay. So the way that's working is that uh, they count the shot and they give them the end one without having to take the free throws. And we've got a timeout on the floor. We're going to get all squared away here. Work over here. Look at these... Uh, Settings here with the scorekeeper and see what's going on. Make sure we're all set. You're watching, as I said, the Immaculate Training Pro Camp. We, we broadcast this last year as well. Uh, a lot of international scouts here today. A lot of uh, agents, a couple of agents, uh, several international scouts. A lot of these guys have actually played overseas. I know jo Julius Brooks definitely for sure. Uh, Corey Rayleigh Ross. Um, let me see if I can grab some information here. I know that Timothy Heggie, he played at Fayetteville State University. And we broadcast a lot of stuff out of Fayetteville this year. Some Fab 40 stuff, and I think we did a pro. We did not. Uh, we did a pro game, uh, minor league, the ECBL, just about uh, maybe two, three weeks ago. The Fayetteville crossover on Fayetteville State University is where they played their game. So uh, Timothy Haggy, having played his college ball there, the point guard. So several guys uh, out there today with some. Uh, a lot of guys with college experience. All the guys have college experience. Several guys with pro experience. I think Julius Brooks last play for BK Ogre overseas. I know Nicholas Crawford. I remember seeing him play at Johnson at Wales University here in Charlotte. I'll have to double check this, but I believe Michael Moore played, I mean not Michael Moore, Marcus McDaniel, the shooter, played in Ireland last, the guy with the ball right now, I believe, let me double check that. No good. Michael Moore, who played at Mount Olive, the six foot eight forward. Tough defense on the inside, but they're going to get called for the foul. And that's probably going to be a shooting foul. That will send Tommy Moss to the line. Tommy Moss played his college ball at uh, Southern Union State Community College, JUCO. Well. 
Nice little running scoop shot. Good. And that pushes the lead back out to four. For Team White here. About three and a half left to play here in the first. Drive shot. Good by Little. Good hesitation there by Corey Rayleigh Ross, who then got in trouble under the basket. I got a foul. No, it stepped on the baseline. See Julius Brooks coming in, and now we've got a timeout on the floor. Both teams want to talk things over. We'll be back in just a moment. So under three now to play here in the first half. 22 to 20 in favor of Estonia, who's wearing the home whites. Rebound grab there by Corey Rayleigh Ross, a six foot three guard. He's run a lot of point here today. He's being guarded by Christian Little, gives the ball up. Feed inside to Brooks, ball slapped away. Brooks unable to handle it. He was. Looking to move inside, and the ball, the pass is thrown a little bit out of his reach. Now here's Christian Little. Deep outside shot, good for Little, and that's going to count as a three ball. That's a big shot for Blue because that puts them up in the lead by one. Rayleigh really Ross drives, decides to pull it out, gives it up to Brooks. Brooks hands it back off to Ross. Rayleigh really Ross now, and he hands it off. Shot no good by Jansen Carter. And we're rebounding and going the other way for Blue. Gives it up to Marcus McDaniel. McDaniel feeds it inside. Spin move over the top for Lawson. Lawson no good. About a minute and a half left here in the first. Rayleigh Ross with the bucket. He takes retakes the lead for his team. Tries to find some open side on the defense, and that's going to be a block shot and a foul. And that should be a shooting foul. Sends him to the line. And now that we're under, well, first of all, the clock would stop anyway with a shooting foul like this. The second thing is they've been stopping the clock under a minute, at least so far today, regardless of the stoppage of play. So double whammy here, and he's going to the line. That'll be uh, Nicholas Crawford, number 75, the six foot two guard out of Johnson and Wales University, as I mentioned earlier. So, uh, he's more of a pure point guard.
drive. Wild shot. No good. Rebounded by Michael Moore. And there's Julius Brooks showing some of that athleticism we talked about earlier. But uh, he's fouled on the way to the hoop, so he's going to get a chance at the line. With 44.8 seconds left on the clock here in the first half. Julius Brooks, a six foot nine forward, has played in a lot of places now. We first saw Brooks uh, right out of college. He was playing some ABA ball to warm up before he went overseas and then went to Mexico. Well, actually, I think he went over to Europe first, and he played in Mexico, and he's played in several different places. Really athletic, power forward, can really get above the rim and make things happen. Rayleigh Ross put another put back there. He's having an impact here in the first game. We've got about half a minute left here in the first half as Marcus Daniel brings it up and these teams try to figure out what they're going to do. Another shot. That one didn't look great coming off his hand. Grabs the rebound, drives, slapped away. Now they're going to hold it for one, I think. Nicholas Crawford holding up. Holding up his finger to indicate they just want to run one play, and then he hands it off to Corey Rayleigh Ross, who's now burning the point. Drives, goes between his legs. Little stutter step, and he's going to call a push off on Rayleigh Ross. I think that's going to be the half, so we'll be back in just a few moments. Well, about two minutes, roughly. All right, so we're about to tip or inbound the ball for the second half here at the uh, 2016 Immaculate Training International Pro Basketball Exposure Camp here in Charlotte, North Carolina. You're watching Netcast Sports. You can find this on demand on netcastsports.com. I am Marcus Shockley, and we're about to watch another 18 minutes to wrap this one up between Estonia wearing the home white and Germany in the road blues, although technically this is a um, neutral court have to differentiate somehow, right? So that's how we're going to do it. And right now, Estonia up by three. Strong first half performances from Corey Rayleigh Ross and uh, Marcus McDaniel for, for Blue. And we're back underway here. Feet inside the Brooks. Brooks tries to find a teammate, just throws it over his head. Nice idea, but uh, teammate wasn't expecting it there. Michael Moore. Uh, 
Here's Marcus McDaniel. Now, that's something we didn't see earlier from McDaniel. He's brought the ball up more today. And I've confirmed that McDaniel is the player who I remember playing in Ireland most recently. That shot is good, up and good. Blue cuts that lead back down to one. That last shot by Christian Little, I think. No. Cornell Holland, I think. That's a three ball on the outside. Good. Inside to Lawson. That shot was tough, almost behind the backboard. Foul on the inside, and that's going to be on the baseline. We're going to inbound under the basket. Blue would really like to get some points here. This has been a long position for him. Here's Cornell Holmes. Home shot, no good. Bradley Raw shot off the back of the rim. Brooks tried to one hand return that one with a one handed jam, unable to finish it. Now, here we go, Brooks, and that's going to be easy. Easy pickets for, for Brooks right there. But right now, everything going the way of the team in white, Estonia, and that's going to call for a timeout on the floor. So, we're going to take a quick break here. As I said, you're watching the Immaculate Training Pro Exposure Camp today and tomorrow. And uh, you can watch these things all on demand on netcastsports.com. Uh, I am Marcus Shockley. You can follow me on Twitter at M underscore Shockley if you're so inclined. Uh, definitely want you guys to check out uh, the Twitter account for Netcast Sports. And also uh, check out the blog. We talk about a lot of the stuff going on behind the scenes in broadcasting. I think it's something we do that is unique to Netcast Sports. And we have a uh, blog and a podcast. And it is not... I will promise you this, it is not all the same corporate speak that you hear from other, um, you know, companies where it's like, you know, basically just come out and do a pitch about, hey, you got to love what we're doing, and it's all polished. We're basically just trying to bring you guys along for the ride as we broadcast uh, around the southeast and in other parts of the country, give you uh, insight into some of the, you know, some of the fun things that we do, some of the problems we run into, uh, and it's, I, I uh, it's, it's tough sometimes to try to, um, to, to do the, the blog, and I mean, I'm sorry, not the blog, but the podcast and everything, because uh, we, we have so much that we'd like to tell you guys about, and we can't really do that until, we, you know, until it's official, but there's still a lot that we, we bring up most recently. We talked about broadcasting from a military base in Fort Gordon, and, uh, and we even talked about uh, what happened when we showed up to broadcast a game, and there were no refs anywhere in the building, and apparently no refs within a two-hour radius of the game. 
game and what unfolded from that point forward to cause the game to uh, to eventually be played. So it's a lot of fun. You guys should check it out. But anyway, back in action here. A little over 14 minutes left in this one and another quick bucket. Blue needs a little bit of those, so that timeout effective for them. They cut it back to 10. They have trailed by as many as 12. They've now cut it to 10. They'd like to get a stop here and put it in double digits. And they do get the stop, so let's see what they can do here. Wide open run out. Good kickback. Lawson on the inside. Nice turnaround and finish by Lawson. So four quick points cuts that 12-point lead down to eight. The blue comes out a little bit energized after that timeout. McDaniel slaps the ball away. So no over and back. As McDaniel tested last as he was guarding uh, Michael Moore. Drive. Inside in trouble. Finds Moore. And the finish. And that's some uh, that's some lackluster defense. You cannot expect to cut into the lead if you're not gonna if you're gonna let your opponent get that close to the basket. Unencumbered. Is that a shooting foul? It is a shooting foul, and that is going to send. No, it's not a shooting foul. I'm basically watching the clock, and every time they, and if they don't stop the clock, I assume it's not a shooting foul. If they do stop the clock, the reverse, and that time they did stop it, so. And then we have to adjust. McDaniel tries to create space. Step. Drives. That shot is good. And Blue needed that. They needed that one. In a, in a dire way. Down by seven now. They've cut that lead from 12 to 7. Foul on the inside. And that will be a shooting foul. Blue would love to get a couple more of those three-pointers to fall. But here we got Corey Rayleigh Ross at the line, the six foot three guard.
wicking away some moisture here. So now, McDaniel will get a chance to uh, shoot a shot. Now it's one shot, one for two, as it has been today. So now, back down by seven. No, I'm sorry. Nine. They did a good job cutting it to 7 earlier, but uh, let it get back out to 11. And now here's another stop. McDaniel has been an offensive weapon for them here. I'd like to see some more movement from, uh, from Blue. Setting a pick, but McDaniel doesn't utilize it. Ball kicked away by Rayleigh Ross.
and that's going to be a foul, a shooting foul, and that should stop the clock. It does not. At least not yet. Julius Brooks. Up and down play now. It would have would have been helpful if Blue had been able to knock down a couple of shots, but it isn't helpful when they uh, when they just rim out, you know. 
the Hilter Skelter style play might create more opportunities, but they've got to capitalize. Under four now. Moss now wanted to pass it inside to a cutting McDaniel, but he was covered up. Now here's Moss. Fakes. Starts 